Hi guys, welcome to the fourth lesson of the Let's Learn Swift 2. Today we are going to talk about numbers. So first let's create a number. Number 1. So number 1 is going to be 1. But we can make it shorter because it already knows what type it is. So this is the integer. Let me just declare it. Let's create number 2 integer. Let's actually put 9 and 3. And then number 3 is going to be something more complicated. So first, you can just type number 1 plus number 2. And it's 12. Now we can minus. It's 6. We can divide them. It's 3. And multiply them. It's 27. But there is one also cool thing. This. So what is it returning? It's a returning what's left on the whole number division. So, 9 divided by 4 is equal to 2 plus 1. So, 2 and 1 left over. So, 2 multiplied by 4 plus 1 is that. So, what's left? So, you divide like the whole number division. So, 9 divided by 4 is 2 and you have 1 left that's what it writes out, that 1 so you can basically check if the number is divisible by another number so if it's a 0 that means it's correct but what do we get here? 9 divided by 4, 2 and 1 left or we and 1 left or we can write with this but it doesn't say the exact number. So what we want is change this to double. And now it gives us the decimal points also. So we can also put this to double. Or some crazy. Like this and this to one point to four, but we have to put this double. Oh, it's the same. 9 divided by 4. So number 1 divided by number 2. And it gives us that number. Now we can put this integer. And it gives us an error. Because cannot convert Take double to integer, but actually it can. If you just assign it, make it an integer. It rounds the number. So yeah, that would be it from the lesson four. In the next one, we are going to look at some if loops, actually if statements, and later on we are going to check out for loops. So I'll see you in the next one.